Hey everyone, today we're going to show you the power of our newest material creation. This material will have you looking on point, or I might be too old to say this, but on fleek. In combination with our ML component in Lens Studio, this material has a wide variety of customizable options that will give you and your lens users amazing expression. The eyebrow material. So let's get to it and let's build this lens. Before we open our template for this material, I'd like to briefly touch on something that may be uncommon for most Lens Studio users, which is the ML component. In Lens Studio, an ML component can be used to create features for object tracking, face tracking, segmentation, as well as other uses. But in this example, we are using an ML component to remove the user's eyebrows. This is done by training a model, or neural network, and connecting that model to our ML component. Machine learning is extremely powerful, and to learn more, you can visit the Lens Studio documentation on our website. The link will be provided in the video's description. As we walk through this template, let's keep in mind that the actual template consists of two parts, the ML component and the eyebrow material. Combining these two features can create something very powerful. But to be clear, you can use them both separately. So let's open the eyebrow material template and take a look at its features. Let's take a look at the ML component, which we can see here in the object panel. We can also see it has a neural network browse model connected here in the inspector. With that out of the way, now let's dive into the actual material. In the resources panel, let's navigate to the brow material folder, open it up and click the browse material and observe its settings in the inspector. Wow, there's a lot to look at here. So let's get excited about it. First, we have the option to change from displaying a single texture or two textures. A single texture will display one texture for both sides and the two texture option will give you an extra texture slot to populate. Next, we have the face mask texture. If we navigate to the resources panel and preview that texture, we can see that this texture is a black and white image that acts like a mask. The white of the image having the effect and the black parts having no effect. This will help create a soft blend if one of your textures is touching the edges. If you would like to add animation to your brows, we have a drop down with several options. So let's take a look at those options. If we set it to sign, we will notice that the brows have a wave that runs through them. You can control the speed, frequency, and range of a wave with the sliders here. Let's toy around with those for a second and see the options. Nice. Let's try wink wink. Fairly simple effect. Next is Wave, which is an animation that rolls through the textures. You can also control its speed here. And then Scale, which also has its own scale option. Okay, let's set the animation drop down back to none so we can walk through the rest of the options clearly. Hue Offset is our next option, so let's click the checkbox to see what it does. If you are looking for a neat little effect that will shift the hue over time, this is for you. Below that, we have an option to flip the texture. This can come in handy if you have an asset that is reversed and you want it to display in the opposite direction. And then at the very bottom, here we have a series of sliders that are responsible for placement and rotation. I'll push these sliders around a bit to show you what they do. Okay, so now that we have a good feel for how the eyebrow material works, let's take a look at some of the textures that have been provided with the template. Let's open the Browse Material folder in the Resources panel and check out the Textures folder. I'll cycle through a few of the supplied textures. It's very simple to drag and drop any of these textures into the Browse texture slots. If your texture does not have a transparent background, you will need to use a blend mode such as Multiply to allow it to appear appropriately. In fact, you should experiment with different blend modes with your textures to search for different looks and effects, and sometimes you might come across something appealing that you just didn't plan for. Let's do that now. Okay, now that we know the ins and outs of this material, let's do something weird like we always do. 
Let's duplicate our face mesh. Then duplicate our browse material. Hook up our new duplicated material to your new face mesh. Reposition it. Maybe change the blend mode and some settings. And look at that, a glowing mustache. Wow. Hmm. Maybe it's not the most creative use of this material, but hey, there are plenty of options here for you to play around with. The eyebrow material is extremely powerful and it's very simple to use. If you wanna look under the hood and learn how this material works, feel free to open the material editor and dig around. So take advantage of it. Get creative, explore the properties of the eyebrow material, and maybe even dig into the material editor to make something unique of your own, or just learn from it. Also, don't forget to look at Lens Studio's ML component and dig into the documentation we have online to bring machine learning models to your lenses. There's a lot more we can explore with Lens Studio to bring your art to life in AR. So check out the different templates we have to learn more about what you can do.